What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. I am back with yet another video and there are plenty of those coming up over the next few weeks. The schedule is picking up and I have had time to get loads done so definitely make sure the notification bell is pressed so that you guys know exactly when I upload. So with that said, in today's video we are going to be looking at the ViewSonic XG3240C. Long name aside, this is yet another curved gaming monitor from ViewSonic of course, but this time round it is 1440p and supports 144Hz. So let's jump in and see if this monitor is any good and something I would recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up for your setup. So as always, let's go ahead and start with what's included in the box. So first off we have our power brick and you also get two plugs, one of which is for the UK of course. We have a USB to USB Type-B for powering the USB hub and last of all we have our DisplayPort cable. One thing I enjoy about ViewSonic is how easy it is to go ahead and set the monitors up straight from the box and the setup is pretty easy here. Just take the included stand and simply screw it to the bottom using the easy screw and you are pretty much good to go. So the stand itself is pretty big so it will take up plenty of room on your desk and it is made from plastic, some of which is shiny, so it may attract dust and fingerprints if you go ahead and touch it too much. And as you can see, it does feature the ViewSonic logo. Much like most gaming items these days, it does feature some red accents with the ViewSonic logo on the bezel and of course on the stand itself. It doesn't look too bad, but if your setup isn't based on red, this is something you may want to consider, but fear not, as you can easily wall mount this as it does support the standard Visa mounting. And honestly, most monitors these days look much better when they are wall mounted, so if you can do that, I would definitely consider it. So in terms of adjustability, there are plenty of options here. We do of course have the normal swivel, and it does have a good travel distance. You also have the ability to tilt the monitor, and as expected, we have a height adjustment. But for a curved gaming monitor, I did find it pretty weird that we can actually put it in portrait mode. I'm not too sure who the hell would put a curved gaming monitor in portrait mode. Actually, if you are one of those people, please send me a tweet on Twitter showing me a picture as I'm pretty sure it would look pretty wild, but let me know anyway. Just one thing to note is that if you put it in portrait mode, it is a little, the screen itself is a little too big for the stand. It just fits and no more, but hopefully you guys won't be doing that. So in terms of ports and controls, on the left we have two USB 3 ports. On the underside you will find two HDMI ports that do support HDR10. You will find a display port as well as your audio ports and your power jack. And on the other side you will find your input to power the USB 3 hub as well as another two USB 3 ports. Last of all, on the back right we have our control toggle. Now I have said this many times before, this is definitely my preferred method for navigating as it makes life so much easier than trying to guess where all the buttons etc are and it's definitely something I think all gaming monitors should adopt. Having a little toggle there instead of maybe four or five buttons makes navigating menus such a breeze. And speaking about the menu itself, I found it pretty easy to navigate and there are loads of different options in there, loads of different modes, loads of different ways to tweak your picture and colour settings etc. So you will have no trouble when it comes to getting the right calibration for you. So one more thing that I would like to mention before we go on to the gaming aspect is that we do also have a nice headphone hanger that we have seen before on ViewSonic monitors. Personally, I think this is a super cool touch. Let me know what you think of it down below. Is this somewhere that you would consider hanging your headphones? I'd love to know what you guys think, so make sure to leave a comment down below. So now on to the main aspect and probably the only part that you guys will care about. What is it like gaming on a 1440p 32 inch curved gaming monitor? So as it runs at 144Hz, I'd say the overall experience is a positive one. While I personally wouldn't play competitive games on this due to its size, as I prefer to sit around the 27 inch mark, playing games like Battlegrounds and Rocket League was absolutely amazing and it was definitely a pleasure and it ran super smooth. If you're part of Team AMD of course, you will also be happy to know that this does support FreeSync, so if you're rocking any of those new graphics cards, you will have that full support there. Watching my favourite YouTubers was also a pleasure, and when it comes to colour accuracy etc, after a little tweaking I must say that these were really nice. Obviously this isn't a monitor that you would go ahead and edit videos on or even correct pictures for Photoshop, all that good stuff. This is aimed at gamers. 
being a VA panel, etc., I probably wouldn't do any professional work on it. But for gaming, watching YouTube and all that good stuff, this monitor is definitely awesome. And I would definitely give it around a 10 out of 10. But the main question you guys will probably ask is that would I recommend you use your hard-earned money to pick one of these up. Well, in all honesty, if you are looking for a 32-inch curved gaming monitor, I would definitely pick this up. I had a little look on Amazon and other websites, and this is actually one of the cheapest 32-inch 144Hz monitors in that kind of group, so you're not really sacrificing on build quality, picture quality or anything like that. If you're looking for a solid gaming monitor at a decent price, I would definitely check this out. So if you guys have any questions about this monitor at all down below, definitely let me know. Overall, it's a good looking monitor with super thin bezels and a really nice picture quality. And obviously running at 144 hz gaming on it is an absolute pleasure. So if you guys have any questions, just ask, as you know, I will always get back to you. So as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.